43% of the adult population in the UK suffer from chronic pain. That's 28 million adults. You would assume most of those people will be old people. Actually, that is not correct. A lot of the people are also younger adults. 18 to 25 year olds constitute 14.3% of the people suffering from chronic pain. And this is not unique to the UK. It's in the US and all Western countries. A lot of people suffer from chronic pain. Chronic means that they're suffering from this pain for at least 12 weeks or more. So three months of this pain will have an impact on your mental health and your, as well as your physical health, your spiritual health, your emotional health, your career, your relationships. It has many, many consequences. And of course, it's going to leave you demoralized. Today, we're going to talk about the cause of this chronic pain and one area, one thing you can do, which is called grounding to freely get rid of chronic pain or at least reduce it. So what causes chronic pain? All chronic pain is caused by inflammation. Inflammation meaning swelling up. So anything related to itis, colitis, for example, spondylitis, it's all to do with inflammation. Inflammation is natural. Our bodies get attacked by bacteria. It gets attacked by viruses, parasites. We get injured, we cut ourselves, we fall over. And so you will have inflammation, internal or external or both. And this inflammation is okay, but 12 weeks is too much. It is totally demoralizing. What are the causes of inflammation? The causes of inflammation, primarily the big one, which I want to focus on is disconnection from our true frequency. So one of the issues that I want to cover is the food that you eat. Dairy products cause inflammation, cheese, milk, and any other dairy product causes inflammation. Come on, let's think about it. If you are an adult watching this or a teenager watching this, why are you drinking the milk of another animal? You don't even drink the milk of your own mother. Why are you doing it of another animal? So it's not like we need dairy products. And this is not a vegan show, by the way. I am just impressing upon you that some products, dairy products, have an effect on your body. It creates a lot of inflammation. So there's you, things you can do like stop drinking dairy products or eating dairy products. That's one area. But the big area I'd like to focus on is grounding. And grounding means you are connecting to Mother Earth directly, bare feet, bare skin, and receiving negative electrons. So electrons are negative, by the way, through your body. So when our body is agitated internally, we create a lot of free radicals. So this could be caused by many things, including stress. We create free radicals which are positively charged. The negative electrons come and neutralize them. They basically, it, they don't destroy them. They neutralize the positive charges. So why is there negative charge on Earth? Well, throughout the planet, there are lightning strikes going on all over, even though it might not be going on in where you're living. That fills up the Earth's crust with a negative charge. So when you connect to the ground, the negative charge is able to flow up through your feet or through your hands into your body. And then your body will use it where it is needed. Your body is primarily an electric body. So movement of ions within the cells, in between cells is to do with a positive and negative charge. Your entire nervous system, which obviously infiltrates every single cell, is all based on electricity. So it's very important to have a lot more negative ions than the positive ions we very often create or generate. What about the science? What is science saying? There's been approximately 20 studies done, 20 scientific papers published on the area of grounding. Let's have a look at some of these scientific evidence. I did a lot of digging around for scientific proof about grounding, and I found 27 abstracts and papers, some of which were on peer-reviewed journals. I also found two full documentary movies, which I will mention later on. In the 2017 article, Electric Nutrition, The Surprising Health and Healing Benefits of Biological Grounding, the authors, led by Dr. Stephen Sinatra, say, modern biomedicine has discovered that many of the most debilitating diseases, as well as the aging process itself, are caused by or associated with chronic inflammation and oxidative stress. Emerging research has revealed that direct physical contact with the surface of the planet 
generates a kind of electric nutrition with surprisingly potent and rapid anti-inflammatory and antioxidant effects. This body of research has demonstrated the potential of grounding to be a simple, natural and accessible clinical strategy against the global epidemic of non-communicable, degenerative and inflammatory related diseases. In Issue 5, Volume 77 of the Science Direct article, the writers hypothesized that earthing significantly influences the electrical activity of the brain. In the Journal of Inflammation Research, which is peer-reviewed in the March 2015 issue entitled The Effects of Grounding on Inflammation, the Immune Response, Wound Healing and Prevention and Treatment of Chronic Inflammatory and Autoimmune Diseases, the authors state that this was a multidisciplinary research which has revealed that electrically conductive contact of the human body with the surface of the earth produces intriguing effects on physiology and health. Grounding produces or even prevents the cardinal signs of inflammation following injury. Redness, heating, swelling, pain and loss of function. This image is of a 85-year-old diabetic woman who had an 8-month-old non-healing open wound. The first image is that before and the second image is that taken after one week of grounding or earthing treatments. The third image is taken after two weeks of earthing. The treatment consisted of a daily 30-minute grounding session with an electrode patch while the patient was seated comfortably. In this next image, a cyclist was injured in the Tour de France competition when the chain wheel gouged his leg. Ouch! Grounding patches were placed above and below the wound as soon as possible after the injury. The second picture shows one day after the injury and in the third picture you see what the injury looks like after two days. The following day, the cyclist was able to continue with the competition. In the next two images, you see a reduction in inflammation with grounding or earthing documented with medical infrared imaging. Thermal imaging cameras record tiny changes in skin temperature to create a color-coded map of hot areas indicative of inflammation. Imaging shows warm and painful areas in the upper panel. Sleeping grounded for four nights resolve the pain and the hot areas cool down. Panel B shows the infrared images of a 33-year-old woman who had a gymnastics injury at 15, that's 18 years earlier. The patient had a long history of chronic right knee pain, swelling and instability and was unable to stand for long periods of time. The on and off medical treatment she was receiving with physical therapy over the years provided minimal relief. In the top panel on the right hand side you can see the arrow pointing towards the knee injury where most of the pain was. The lower images in the panel was taken 30 minutes after being grounded with an electrode patch. After six days of grounding, she reported a 50% reduction in pain and said she could now stand for longer periods without pain. After four weeks of treatment, she felt good enough to play soccer and for the first time in 15 years felt no instability and little pain. There's so much we can talk about regarding grounding, such as grounding appears to improve sleep, it normalizes the day-night cortisol rhythm, it reduces pain, reduces stress, shifts the autonomic immune system from sympathetic towards parasympathetic activation, it increases your heart rate variability, speeds wound healing and reduces blood viscosity. So rather than go through every single paper, I will spare you the details and put the link for all of them in the description. The scientific evidence presented here is exciting and has certainly invoked my curiosity. The big challenge is getting a large enough sample size and multiple studies to show irrefutable evidence that grounding is indeed good for your health, especially in the healing process. Of course, it is also understandable that grounding is freely available to anyone who can access a park, the woods, the seaside, a garden or anything that gives you access to Mother Earth. Since this is freely available, grounding is impossible to patent and to financially profit from. So I am not expecting big corporate sponsors to provide funding for the research needed. The two documentaries that I recommended are the movie Grounded and the Earthing movie. I found both of these documentaries fascinating, full of anecdotal evidence. There's also been commentaries by eminent doctors and scientists, including Dr. Stephen Sinatra. Make sure you go and watch both of them. They are both freely available. So, if you wanted to start grounding, then it's simple. Here are some of the easiest ways for you to practice grounding. The easiest thing to do is to walk barefoot on the ground. 
It is good for you to have your feet slightly damp as electrons travel much more effectively with water present. So even if it's been raining, great! Go ahead and do it anyway. You can also do this in dry weather conditions. If it is freezing cold or just not appropriate for you to walk bare feet, then go and hug a tree or lean against the tree with your bare hands touching the trunk of the tree. Or failing that, sit at the base of the tree, lean against the tree and just chill out there for half an hour. Another option is to sit on the grass with your bare feet on the ground and your hands on the floor. Make a picnic out of it. If you are into mountain climbing, then I encourage you to do this as often as you can. In the connection between you and the rocks, you are receiving plenty of electrons. As we've become more civilized and spending more time in concrete jungles, we've moved away from nature. So go back into nature, get your hands dirty and play with the soil. In other words, become a gardener. You don't have to have a garden. You can rent an allotment or you can volunteer to help the gardening staff at your local park. Can you see that if you search for opportunities to practice grounding, you will find them. Grounding doesn't cost you a penny. Go out to, into nature connect to the soil. Whether if you want to hug a tree, go and hug a tree and allow yourself, expose yourself 10, 15, 20 minutes a day, every day to nature. This will help transform your health, which then has many implications in all areas of your life. If this video has been useful to you, then hit the like button and please make sure you share the video and subscribe to my channel. See you next time. Thank you.